Greetings, Rail fans. It is Wednesday, September 6th, 2017, 9.41 a.m. We are doing the Branch Freight Active Session on the Howe Junction route. It's late spring and the first house cattle market of the year was held yesterday. The morning's task is to take two return trips from house to Garsdale. The outward trips are with empty cattle trucks and the returns are with coal trucks. Some are maybe just around the corner, but it is still cold enough for the coal merchants to need stock for their customers. Keep an eye out for the passenger train, which is also working the branch line. Well, let's get in there and get started. Branch Freight Active. Good morning. Description. The task mirrors the Branch Freight Passive Session, but in this session, you drive the Class 37. You will also have to change the point levers to the correct settings for your intended route. It is important not to get ahead of the schedule because that will interfere with the operations of other trends. The first house cattle market of the summer was or summer session was yesterday. And there are empty cattle trucks that need to be sent on. Your job for the day is two return trips to Garsdale. You will start at 8 a.m. in the house goods yard. You are already connected to eight empty cattle wagons and a guards van, which you should take to Garsdale. If you keep the speed limit, you should reach Garsdale at 8.13 a.m. As you approach the junction, you will see four sidings on your right-hand side. This is the northeast yard. The furthest siding from you is number one, and the closest is number four. Drive to the loop at Garsdale Station and wait for the passenger train to leave for Howes. When the road is clear, you will shunt into the number four siding and uncouple the guard's van. Then go to the number two siding and leave the cattle wagons there. Then return to the number four siding and recouple to the guards van and the coal trucks. Take this train to the loop at Garsdale Station and run around it. You can then depart for house, the line being clear from 8.22 a.m. You should arrive at house at about 8.31 a.m. If you keep to the speed limits, that is, <coughs> At house, reverse the train into the siding containing the cattle trucks and uncouple from the guards van. Take the coal trucks to the adjoining siding, leave them there prior to returning and coupling to the guards van and cattle trucks. Draw this train out of the yard, run around it prior to your second trip to Garsdale. 
you will have plenty of time because the branch passenger train will not clear the section to Darsdale until 8.44 a.m. You should get to Garsdale no earlier than 8.56 a.m. where you should repeat the actions of your first trip except the guards van should be left in and the coal trucks collected from the number three site this time. When you have disposed of the cow wagons and connected the vehicles in the number four site Take them to the loop at the station and effect a runaround. You can now leave for Howes as soon as the line is clear, which would be about 10 minutes after your arrival. That would be about 9.06 a.m. On arrival, leave the guard's van by the cattle dock shunt the coal trucks into the siding alongside the coal bins. The session is now finished, and if you have kept all the speed limits and completed the tasks before 9.25 a.m., you have done well. <coughs> I don't really trust the uncouple feature because the last several times I've used it, it always uncouples less than what I intended. So I will be doing the uncoupling and letting the driver do the rest. I wrote down all the driver commands that I need. So hopefully we'll have a better run than the last time I did this. So for now, let's enjoy the trip to Garsdale. Hopefully I will be doing different views when we run between the two towns. So that way we can get a different view each time.
Thank <laughs> you. 